Hello everyone, welcome to video lecture series of Computer Organization and Architecture. Today's topic is Booth's Algorithm. This algorithm is used for the multiplication of sign numbers. Let us begin. As I've told you that Booth's Algorithm, it is a very popular algorithm. This is a very efficient algorithm and it is used to multiply any two signed numbers means binary integers which are in the two's complement representations and this is very much used because it speed up the performance of the multiplication process very quickly the multiplication process can be done and this algorithm operates on the fact there are two things when we are talking about the string of zeros right string of zeros in the case of the multiplier it requires no additional bit only there is a shifting of rightmost string bits only shifting but in the case of the string of ones in the multiplier from bit weight 2 raised to the power k to the weight 2 raised to the power m can be considered as what 2 raised to the power k plus 1 minus 2 raised to the power m you can understand it let me take an example suppose we have a number 14 right if we say we have a number plus 14. So how do you represent this number into a binary? It will be represented at 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. This is what 8, 4, 2, 1, 16, 32. This is how you can represent plus 14 number. And if you observe this number, then the string of 1s means this is what? This is 2 raised to the power 0. This position is 2 raised to the power 1. And this one is 2 raised to the power 3. So if you observe the string of 1s, that is from 2 raised to the power 1 to 2 raised to the power 3. It means here the value of k is 3 and the value of m is 1. Right. So when you substitute these values of k and m over here, what you are getting? 2 raised to the power 4 minus 2 raised to the power 1 which is equal to what? 16 minus 2 which is equal to 14. It means multiplication is what? m into 14 and here m is the multiplicand, 14 is the multiplier and this multiplication can be written as what? m into 2 raised to the power 4 minus m into 2 raised to the power 1. This is how you can represent it. It means the product can be obtained by shifting binary multiplicand which is m 4 times to the left and subtracting m shifted left once. So this is how this particular algorithm occurs. Because here we are talking about it is being applied on the sign magnitude numbers. So in the case of the Booth's algorithm, it requires the examination of the multiplier bits and shifting the partial products. So when we are uh, talking about shifting the partial products, there are three conditions. Prior to the shifting, multiplicand may be added or subtracted and the third possible case left unchanged. And that will happen according to the rules which have been mentioned and all these rules I'll be discussing in the case of the flowchart. Now let us talk about the hardware algorithm. First, before studying the hardware algorithm, let me tell you the hardware implementation of Booth's algorithm. Here in this particular diagram, you can observe the registers are BR register, AC register, QR register. So in this case, you can observe that there is no separate flip-flops or are used for the sign bits, right? At the same time, you can observe the register AC, register BR, register QR. So the registers which we have discussed in the previous case of the multiplication A, B and Q, they have been renamed over here, right? And QN, here you can observe this particular QN bit, it designates the least significant bit of the multiplier, least significant bit of the multiplier in the register QR and extra flip-flop QN plus 1 that is also included along with the QR to facilitate a double bit inspection 
of the multiplier. Here the inspection happens for Qn and Qn plus 1. I will tell you in the case of the flowchart. So this is what the hardware implementation and similarly because multiplic for multiplication sometimes there is a requirement to add the numbers so complementer parallel adder so these particular units have also been used sequence counter will hold the value means it holds the value which is equal to the number of bits in the case of the multiplier right and accordingly after each particular instruction after each particular like operation sequence counter will be decremented by one and the operation will be end when the sequence counter will reaches to zero now let us talk about the flow chart in detail how multiplication happens when we are talking about the sign twos complement data this algorithm can be used for the positive and negative numbers both this is the beauty of this particular algorithm here you can see start of the program initially what is going to happen multiplicand is in register br multiplier is in the register qr sequence counter hold the value which is equal to small n and this is what the number of bits in the qr which is the multiplier ac accumulator is being like uh, placed as a zero and qn plus one which is the additional flip flop n plus one up bit that is being kept as a zero now because here double bit inspection happens it means we are bothering about the qn qn plus one so what are the possible combinations four possible combinations either qn and qn plus one will be same one one or zero zero if there is no change the bits are same only shift operation will happen a s h r s arithmetic shift right arithmetic shift right the content of a c and q r and then sequence counter will be decremented by one if there is no change if q n q n plus one is being observed as zero one right then a c plus b r content of b r will be added to the accumulator content and the result will be stored in the accumulator and then shifting operation will happens but what will happen when the third possible condition is being identified when q n is equal to 1 and q n plus 1 is 0 then subtraction operation means here a c minus b r this operation needs to be followed and subtraction using two's complement addition here you can observe br bar plus one result will be stored into the accumulator and then again arithmetic shift right the content of ac and qr sequence counter will be decremented by one and when the sequence counter will be equal to the zero there will be the end of the program otherwise this loop will continue so this is how this flow chart can be implemented i'll tell you by taking an example how this like multiplication using Booth's algorithm happens in general. Here I have taken an example. We have to compute minus 5 into minus 7 using the Booth's algorithm. So the numbers are minus 5 and minus 7, both are negative numbers. So first you have to write down their binary values. So the two's complement representation of minus 5 is what? 1011. See how can you write 5? 5 is nothing but this is 8, 4, 2, 1. Take its 2's complement. So when you are going to take its 2's complement, first you will be taking 1's complement. This is 1, 0, 1, 0. You are going to add 1. So this is what the 2's complement of 5. Similarly for 7 also you can write it down. 8, 4, 2, 1. Take its 1's complement. 1, triple 0. Add 1. You will be getting the 2's complement. So the two numbers are 1011 and 1001 where multiplicand is minus 5, multiplier is minus 7. Initially, accumulator will be clear means 0000, 0, 0, 0, 4 bits and the content of QR will be what? The multiplier will be stored over here. So, the QR will be 1001. Now, because you know that what is the value being stored in the case of BR? BR is what the multiplicand is which is 1, 0, double 1. And during the algorithm some at some of the places you need to compute BR bar or BR bar plus 1. So let us compute first so that we can utilize the same value. If BR is 1, 0, double 1, so BR bar will be 0, 1, double 0 means the bits will be inverted. 
br bar plus 1 will be what? Add 1 into this num particular number. So, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, let us proceed for this algorithm. In the first column operation is being written. Then the content of accumulator, content of QR, the value of QN plus 1 and the sequence counter. The value of sequence counter will be 4 because the number of bits in the case of the multiplier is what? 4 bits are here. AC is this, QR is this. Now you can see what is the particular value of QN and QN plus 1. So the value of QN is 1, QN plus 1 is 0. So what is going to happen in the case of 1, 0? You can see over here, in the case of 1, 0, we need to add the content of BR bar plus 1 into the accumulator, this operation, right? So, adding the content, the operation I have listed out over here. Now, add the content BR plus 1 is 0, 1, 0, 1. So, this is 0, 1, 0, 1. When you add these two numbers, what you are getting? 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 right? QR content as it is we have copied, QN plus 1 is 0 and after this what is going to happen? At the arithmetic shift right, ASHR, arithmetic shift right means 1 by 1 each bit will be shifted towards right, 1 will be shifted over here, this 1 will be shifted to this place, this 0 will be shifted to this place, 1 1 bit right, but here this particular bit, this will be kept as it is. If it is 0, that will be kept as a 0. If this is 1, that will be kept as a 1. This is the operation of arithmetic shift right. So, now what is happening over here? 1 will be coming out over here. This bit will be 1, 0, 0. 1 will be coming out over here and this will be 0, right? Now, again, and sequence counter will be decremented by 1, which is now 3. Again, check QN and QN plus 1. Double bit inspection is happening. QN and QN plus 1. Now this particular combination is 0, 1. So what is being happening? 0, 1 means now adding the content of BR into AC. This is AC. BR is 1, 0, double 1. So add 1, 0, double 1 in this. What you are getting? 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Here 1 will be carry. So 1, 0, 0, 1. 0, 1, 1. It's the same content of QR we have copied QN plus 1 as it is. Again, arithmetic shift right. Arithmetic shift right means shifting one bit. This one will be shifted over here. This one will be shifted over here. This 0 will be shifted at this place. So, QN plus 1 will be 0. Now, you can observe this one will be here. So, this is 1, 1, 1, 0. Here, 0, 1, 1 and you can identify same bit as being placed. Here it was 1, so 1 is being copied as it is, right? Now again check the value of QN and QN plus 1. It is 0, this is again 0. Sequence counter have been decremented by 1, now it's 2. So because now the value is 0, 0, now you can identify this step. No, none of the operation will be carried out directly shifting. Arithmetic shift right. Again, shifting one bit towards the right. The zero will be shifted over here. The zero will be shifted at one place. One, one bit will be shifted, right? And similarly, the same bit, here it was one. To, so again, one is being copied. So now the content is this. Sequence counter will decrement by one. Now it is one. Now let us check again the condition of QN, which is one, and QN plus one, which is zero. It is 1 and 0 now. 1 and 0 means again we have to add BR bar plus 1 into the content of AC. BR bar plus 1 which is 0, 1, 0, 1. Add it to 1, 1, 0. 1 is being carried out. 1 plus 1 is 0. Again, again 1 is carry. We are getting over a triple 1. So sum is 1. Again 1 carry is being forwarded. 1 plus 1 is 0. 1 is the carry which is being generated, just ignore it. Content of QR is at as it and QN plus 1 is 0, right? Now, what is happening? After this, again, arithmetic shift right. Arithmetic shift right means now shifting the content one bit to the right, one by one. This one will be shifted to this place. This 0 will be shifted over here, one, one bit right. And here again, you can observe this bit is 0. So, during shifting, this bit will be 
kept as it is zero. Those zero is being shifted here. One will be shifted over here. So this is what zero zero one zero 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 one one. This is one, and sequence counter will be decremented by one, which is now zero. It means now this is the end of the program, and the result is available in what? The result is available in the AC and QR register. So whatever the value you are getting, that is the result. AC and QR. Now read it and out. This particular value, this is the result one. Eight four two one. This is sixteen thirty two. So if you read out it, so this particular bit is what thirty two. This is eight four two one. So what you are getting thirty two plus two, which is thirty four plus one thirty five. So the result is thirty five. Which is stored in the AC and QR. Here result is thirty five, right? So I hope now this particular question will be clear to you. Thank you so much for watching this video.